In the fall, a new law will allow college students in Texas to, with concealed carry permits, to bring a gun to school. It has some students here at UNM asking why they can't do the same. News 13's Lizé Mitri is live on campus. Lizé. Dean, the question came up after a student wrote a letter to the school newspaper. As you can imagine, the idea is sparking strong opinions on both sides. It's kind of unsafe for women at night, um, but I don't think that guns would help that. I'm not too sure how I'd really feel about if it would be passed, whether I would feel safer or not. In a letter to the editor in UNM's Daily Lobo, a student with a concealed carry permit writes that it's absurd that he cannot protect himself at school after going through background checks and extensive training. No one is allowed to carry any firearms, ammunition, uh, incendiary devices, bombs, any dangerous weapon. That won't be the case at Texas universities come fall because of a new law there. It allows concealed carry permit holders to bring guns on college campuses, though each university can can add some restrictions. Dale Perkins teaches concealed carry courses in Albuquerque and says some of his clients are UNM students. Yes, that's one of the main things that they hammered on is how can they carry on campus? Told them they can't, not until we get things changed. Not only is it against UNM's policy, it's also against state law. And Senator Jerry Ortiz Fino doesn't see a need to change that. You just increase the odds of something really bad happening, some potential tragedy happening, the more firearms you have on campus. While others disagree. Security is very good, but they can't be everywhere. And the students need to be able to protect themselves. It's not because of the Texas law change, but UNM is planning to revise its campus violence policy in the fall. They're hoping to be more clear about what kinds of weapons are banned on campus. For instance, there's been some confusion over pepper spray and stun guns. Back to you. All right, Lizzie, thank you.